Hi friends, welcome back to another tutorial of SAP ST. Myself Manoj, certified SAP ST and transportation management consultant. In this session, we'll discuss a change request on OTC process. Let's see what is the client requirement. Before going to start this session, for more ideas on SAP ST, make sure you subscribe this channel and hit the bell icon to get notification for upcoming sessions. This client requirement is related to return sales order quantity. For beginners, quickly I'll explain the return sales order process. So guys, we create return sales order with reference to original invoice. So when we create return sales order with reference to original invoice, system copies quantity from invoice to return sales order. So in return sales order, it may be same as build quantity or less than build quantity. It cannot be more than build quantity. Okay. Example, we have built five quantities. We have built the amount for five quantity to the customer. Suppose value of five quantity will be 5,000 INR. Then when you create return sales order with reference to invoice, system copies return order quantity from the invoice. So it will be five to five. And here what user will do in return sales order, user change the quantity over here. So suppose in return sales order, user change the quantity from five to six and the amount of six quantity will be 6,000 INR. So in this case, we have charged 5,000 5, INR and here we have to refund for 6,000 quantity to the customer, which is lost to the business. So here client requirement is what? When you create return sales order, with reference to original invoice, if return order quantity is greater than invoice quantity, then system should give error message. So if user will increase the quantity in return sales order more than invoice quantity, then system should give error message because here business will experience some loss. Again, a question mark whether this requirement can be fulfilled by the standard configuration or we have to go for the enhancement. So as for my experience, interview experience, many guys explain this scenario as an enhancement. Let's see whether we, this requirement can be fulfilled by the standard configuration or we have to go for the enhancement. So first test case one, first scenario, we have to check, we have to create one invoice with 10 quantities then we create return order with reference to invoice and in return sales order, we'll change the quantity from 10 to 20. First, we have to cross check whether system will allow it or not. So we'll create one sales order. Sales document type over. Now here we can see the amount of 10 quantity is 10,000 INR. Save. Then delivery. Peak quantity 10, then PJ. Then VF01, enter. So once again, cross check the amount of this invoice. We have to charge 10,000 INR to the customer. Save it. This is your invoice number. Now create return sales order with reference to this invoice. Return sales order RE, refer the invoice, click on copy. So here you can see system copies, invoice quantity to return sales order. But what user will do here, user will change the quantity from 10 to 20. 
if we change the quantity from 10 to 20 then net value will be increased so hence if you increase the quantity suppose we, we have charged 10000 to the customer and in return sales order we are increasing the quantity from build quantity then that will be lost to the business we have charged 10000 quantity so 10000 a month and will refund 20000 to the customer which is lost to the business so this is one scenario we have to do the development or enhancement thereafter we will test then quickly so another scenario test case 2 when user do mistakes suppose in the month of march we have created two invoices to one customer one invoice quantity 10 and another invoice quantity 20. suppose by any chance customer return 30 quantity includes two invoices so return quantity will be 30. here in standard process we have to create two return sales order one is for inverse one re 10 quantity for another inverse we have to create another return sales order 20 quantity but what mistake user do generally they will refer one invoice this invoice and system will copy 10 from invoice to return order then here it will uh, quantity will be changed from 10 to 30. so here we are having one problem if we'll match the report invoice report and sales order report here we have sold 10 quantity as per the report but we have refund 30 quantity so here we will here report will be mismatched then first scenario we have to test after development we have to develop then we have to check this scenario again so for this requirement guys we are having standard configuration transaction code is OVAH which is sales order message type control go to OVAH then message number 229 if we we'll go to the message number 229 then order quantity greater than build quantity then I'll set error message set E then save it so as per this requirement here please try to understand as per this requirement if order quantity if order quantity is greater than inverse quantity if order quantity is greater than inverse quantity then system should give error message or system should not allow to create return sales order so now i have done the development then i'll create return sales order once again with refer to same invoice so v a 01 return order I refer the same invoice copy so as per the rule return order quantity should be same with build quantity or less than build quantity it cannot be greater than build quantity so you can change 10 from 10 to 5 no message if it is more than 10 if it is more than 10 then system will give error message now system is giving error message order quantity 20 greater than build quantity 20 cartoon so this requirement fulfilled by standard configuration no need to go for enhancement i as per my past experience guys are explaining this as an enhancement so enhancement is not required for this uh, business requirement so we can fulfill it through standard configuration then here i wanted to show you one more thing if any change request will come into the picture then we have to fill the change request form so change what, what is change request form go to sapsd project then here change here check change request change scenario one then change request forms so this change request template will vary from client to client it is not same for the all the clients so how will what are the things we will fill document version department authorized person change request owner change owner who will develop this uh, requirement requester 
who is requested this requirement approved by whom title of the change request issue reported date then uh, new configuration whether it is existing configuration or new configuration this is new configuration deliverables use uh, uat user acceptance test accepted already so we'll fill this form we'll we'll assign the request number also so this request form cr form may vary from client to client so last uh, session i have uploaded an enhancement for that enhancement you can see different uh, templates so i'll go to the enhancement enhancement one then past and future date filling creation so this template is different if you want to get this template then you drop me your mail id on inbox i'll share with you okay this is different totally different so past date region for change why why business wanted to change so here also we are having document version uh, number position and title uh, of the review authority approved by whom this is the version and region for change past date future date building creation not allowed which we have already uploaded then some more things are there program type whether it is report forms enhancement interface conversion frequency of this use so generally it is a return cell or otc cycle so every day we are getting return sales orders like this so i'll share this document with you the next thing how to explain this change request so first we have to explain what is the client what was the client requirement client requirement was system should not allow to create return sales order if sales order quantity is more than billing quantity so that can be fulfilled by the standard configuration we have changed the message status from warning message or blank to error message in sales order message type control so guys if you are have if you are having having any doubts you need some clarification on sd and tm you can ping me i'll try to help you so guys thank you so much for watching this session